is Jake Lowe. He wasn't looking for trouble. He saw me with Jake! But he found him anyway. The Chicago branch of La Cosa Nostra. He hasn't pulled the trigger in 15 years. And you, my friend, were there to see it. Now, he's a witness. He'll be under 24 hour FBI protection. So who else is testifying against this guy? Who's about to become a target. Come on! Freeze! Rapid Fire is an action crime drama thriller movie that was released on August 21st, 1992. This movie stars Brandon Lee, an action star who died too soon. But it also has Powers Booth, who is a great actor. But don't hold your breath. We still don't know if this movie is good. Let's start with the story. The story follows Jake Lowe, who witnesses his father get killed. He is set up twice once by a liberation group for China, and once by people posing as FBI agents. Jake ultimately is forced to team up with a police unit led by Brian, who knows about Jake's father. Overall, I think this story is pretty fucking good. It has a pretty strong cast of characters. Although, to be honest, I had a hard time liking Jake at first. He, Jake is a character that doesn't seem to give a fuck about anything, really. He doesn't care about the injustices in China or about taking down the gangsters and doesn't really trust the police unit he's working with. But the latter one is kind of understandable because he was set up by two groups and he really doesn't have a reason to trust them. Well, at first. When the uh, police unit shows their worth in during a shootout he then kind of acts like a total bastard at that point he really had no reason not to trust them however carla does call him out on his sour attitude and tells jake about that his father died for something he believed in and after that jake does change his tune entirely I actually believe it was natural, because after Jake and Carla fuck in the next scene, the next scene is Jake, the scene after that, is, is Ryan expressing that he really does like Jake. It may not seem like much, but I think it was enough to make me believe that Jake went through some sort of character development. And well... It was more believable than Cade in uh, Transformers Age of Extinction. Also, I really do like the character of Ryan. He actually gives Jake some pretty damn good advice. And he's one tough motherfucker. Of course, so is Jake. And I always love to have a love interest be a fucking tough woman, which is what Carla is. A tough woman that never belittles men. That should not be a criteria, but the mid to late 2000s made it a criteria, unfortunately. Might as well keep going with the anti-woke sentiment. I also really like the scene where uh, Jake is in art class and is assigned to paint a picture of a naked woman. But he draws dra dragons in the background. It's pretty funny and interesting. Also, it also shows a woman that is not ashamed of her body, which is a plus in my book. I also felt that the scenes where the gangsters were pretty well written with raw dialogue rampant. The climax is when things get really fucking intense, and when the emotion is at its peak. 
the ending is so goddamn good that and satisfying that I'm not going to tell you what happens. You'll have to see the movie yourself, but they could not have ended it better than they did. The action scenes are pretty fucking great. There are plenty of there's plenty of gunplay and fight scenes and even some blood for an extra bit of intensity. Oh, and there are about two explosions. Is it as good as Commando? Uh, I wouldn't go that far, but it's honestly pretty fucking close. Now for the production values. The cinematography is pretty good. The editing and sound are pretty standard for the time. Not much stands out. The music I'm also kind of mixed on. The score is not that memorable, although it does have... Although it does get pretty good towards the end. But there are two songs by the rock band Hardline. Both of them are pretty damn good. Overall, Rapid Fire is a pretty damn good action movie from the early 90s. It is beyond underrated, and Brandon Lee was robbed of a chance to be... Well, maybe not as iconic as Bruce Lee, but maybe join the reins of Dolph Lundgren or Arnold Schwarzenegger. It has a pretty good story, excellent action scenes, and some decent music, and overall just has a surprising amount of heart and intensity. I really enjoyed this movie a hell of a lot. I give Rapid Fire 4 out of 5 stars with the title of Awesome. Anyway, I'm Spike Robot. If you like this video, you can subscribe to my channel, and feel free to support me on Patreon and, uh, Take my class. Anyway, take it easy. On to the Freedom Jinkos. Every little memory resting, coming, me resting.